In front is a Honda PCX. By the way, incredibly popular here. They're just all over the place. And it makes me think maybe I should be buying a Honda PCX. I think I'm going to go straight. Uh, Vedo. Oh, it's this way. in front of us is from Italy. Here's an annoying thing about Portugal and Spain and you know they have the highway system. It's really good but you have to pay toll so that means that truckers don't use the highway system so they take these roads and they go like 50 kilometers per hour. You see like a lot of trucks coming in so it tends to be very slow paced through here. These signs, it's velocidad controlada, that means controlled speed. If you exceed 50 miles an hour, you're gonna get a red light up the road. And I guess it beats having like those speed cameras everywhere. But I don't know, I guess it's, look at that. I am going like 50 and it got triggered ridiculous that's ridiculous I was going 50 miles an hour must have been the truck behind me what a douche Ugh. I want to go nice and slow this I believe just joins another road but you can see like the amount of gravel and off-roading that they have here. Taking another little detour here. I just can't stand being on that road. By the way, another bad thing about this bike is the seat that I bought. The Corbin seat is the single worst seat I've ever bought. And ever since I bought this piece of crap, which is slightly better than the... Where? Man, does this lead somewhere? It's slightly better than the stock seat, but unfortunately, it's still terrible. It's like one of the worst aftermarket seats I've ever gotten. You know, this is... This bike does fairly well in this sort of thing. You know, it's got a lot of suspension. The only thing is that, you know, the suspension feels old. <laughs> but of course, that's exactly what it what it is. It's got old suspension. No electronic suspension. There's nothing frilly about it. It's just regular shocks. But it does have a lot of travel for what it is. You know, they they released the Transalp because that's a better bike for everyday riders. But a lot of people prefer this thing, this monster bike for off-roading. And nowadays, they have the big open-class adventure bikes like the 1200s, 1300s, whatever. This used to be the open-class adventure bike at the time, a 750. Which is kind of amazing how much the displacement has gone up you know the super tenre you know it felt heavier this one doesn't feel as heavy as a super 10 also doesn't feel as powerful but it feels fun it feels like very flickable it feels light the steering is very light on it it feels almost like a dirt bike it's uh, what I would imagine what a Tenere 700 probably would feel like, but except a lot narrower. Because, you know, these old 90s bikes, they're a lot heavier and wider. The Tenere 700, of course, is now one of the more popular bikes in Western Europe. I see it just like everywhere. It's been a major success. Little ladies 
riding scooters. Guys, we're coming to the end again of uh, another ride in Portugal on the Africa Twin. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!